We are back in our Psych 42 survey. And this video, I'm just gonna show you how to use branching, uh, the type of branching that is available in Google Forms to collect other information. Um, so this typically comes up when you're collecting gender or race, ethnicity. Uh, so in our example, I actually already set it up um, just to, since some of it is repeating what I've already done in previous videos, but here you can see I have a new section for gender. And my question is with which gender do you most identify? I put a note here that if you do not identify with one of the groups below, select other and you will be asked to enter in your responses. Um, so typically with data collection, we'll talk about this a little bit more in lecture. Uh, and I go into this a lot more in my Psych 144 class since they're actually collecting data. So if you have me again, then you might have this discussion again in more detail. But the idea is that um, you want to be inclusive with your questions, and you also want to be mindful of your target population. Um, so in our case, we are collecting data from Fresno State College students, and we don't want to get crazy specific because then it, it, it increases the number of groups that we're comparing, and your um, statistical analyses are not going to be that complicated. Uh, so I limited the groups to man, woman, non-binary, and then other. And the idea that's problematic about other is that you're othering people. You're saying that like you're you don't fit the norm, and so you're this other group. So it's not it's not great to use that language. Um, and so you want to make sure that there's a place where if you say other, that you can just specify how people specifically identify. So it's respectful of your participants, um, and it's accurate. Data collection is is about accuracy. So. Uh, the options here are the man, woman, non-binary, but then if they select other, the purpose here of having a separate section for the other response is just like we did with the inclusion exclusion criteria, um, is that I set up this, um, the data validation to go to a section based on an answer. So if they say other, then it will go to the next section that I set up that says you selected other for gender in the last question, please share your gender identity below. And then they can type in the response here. So that is how you would handle that question. Um, another way that you might see it is for race, ethnicity, you might have bi slash multiracial or something like that. Uh, and then you'd want to give a place for them to identify it. So open-ended questions, open up the door for having to do more data cleaning. You kind of have to weigh what the purpose of your data is with your capacity, things like that. Um, so for this particular study, we're just going to do that with the gender question. And if you were in Qualtrics, you would be able to use, um, you can type in other and then have it leave a blank there. It's a lot more straightforward. Um, but for now, that's what we have in Google Forms.